33-year-old Republican Daniel Cameron making history last night in Kentucky, winning the race for attorney general and becoming the first African-American to be independently elected to statewide office in the Bluegrass State. Here he is the night before the election. Should I bring Daniel up? Get up here, Daniel. Mr. President, I hope you can tell that Kentucky is Trump country. We are proud to stand with you on pro-life issues in here in the Commonwealth. We are going to stand up for those who cannot speak for themselves. Joining me now exclusively, Daniel Cameron, Kentucky Attorney General-elect. Uh, sir, good to have you with us, and congratulations on your election. Now that the it's all sunk in over the last you, 24 Mark. hours, perhaps a little bit, how are you feeling about winning this race for Attorney General in Kentucky tonight? Well, thank you, Martha. I appreciate you having me on. Uh, it is an extreme honor uh, to have been voted as the next Attorney General here in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Uh, we've obviously hit the ground running today. I was in meetings this morning uh, with my team, uh, sort of working on our transition as we look forward to uh, really, in this role, uh, helping to improve the public safety mm -hmm. outcomes of the men, women, and children of all of 120 counties. Uh, so it's a great honor. Uh, obviously, you're humbled by the experience of having uh, seeing your name on the ballot and being voted upon by your fellow Kentuckians. And so I'm so grateful to everyone who ultimately decided to give me an opportunity to serve this Commonwealth as its next Attorney General. Yeah. You know, in, in terms of um, the sort of barriers that, that you broke, I, I don't always like to focus on those because I just like to focus on the talent that people have and the elections that they won. But I was reading what you said. You said that you grew up in the shadow of the birthplace of Abraham Lincoln. So just, you know, on a personal note, uh, how does it, what, what are you thinking about all of that? Well, this was a uh, historic uh, race and in a historic election, uh, as you noted, I'm the first uh, independently voted upon African-American to serve in statewide elected office mm -hmm. here in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. And I don't shriek from that. Um, I'm proud of the history of the Republican Party. And I grew up in Elizabethtown, Kentucky, Hardin County, uh, which is uh, not too far from the birthplace of Abraham Lincoln. And so mm -hmm. he's always been someone who has inspired my interest in public service. Uh, and so it was a great honor, again, to be elected as the Attorney General uh, last evening. Uh, I hope that folks that look like me, regardless, candidly, of their political affiliation, uh, not only look at me and say that, you know, I want to vote for him in the ballot box, but also make the decision that perhaps they want to put their name uh, up for public service and for public office. Uh, it has been a great thrill to have the opportunity to run. We started this campaign in January of this year and have spent 10 plus months uh, on the road uh, talking to Kentuckians about what they care about in terms of the Attorney General's office. And it was pretty clear that they wanted somebody that was going to renew the promise of the office as the chief law enforcement office in the Commonwealth of Kentucky and also be in the position of defending and enforcing the laws that are passed by yeah. the General Assembly. So we've got an opportunity to present a new vision and a new face in the AG's office, and I'm excited to be a part of that. So you were a legal counsel uh, in for Mitch McConnell, and some people are already speculating. He just won one election. They're already saying, you know, maybe someday he would be the successor to Senator McConnell in that office or perhaps a governor himself. Are those aspirations that you have? Well, I just, as I told the people last night uh, at our election night party, want to do a good job in serving in this role. I was honored to have the endorsement of the Kentucky Fraternal Order of Police, mm -hmm. uh, and they expect me to really advocate for our law enforcement community, uh, for our commonwealths and county attorneys. Uh, so I want to be in the business of improving the public safety outcomes for the men, women, and children of all 120 counties. I had the opportunity to serve as Senator McConnell's legal counsel in, in D.C., and it was mm -hmm. a phenomenal and transformative experience. I'm grateful for his service to the commonwealth. Uh, and I hope uh, that the Kentuckians will make a determination that he needs to be reelected oh. next year. Well, it's great, great to meet you, um, and congratulations again on your election. Likewise. I hope you'll come back and we can talk more uh, about topics as they come up uh, in your office. Thank Absolutely. you very much, Daniel Cameron. Good to see you. Thank congratulations you. again.